Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to explain the difference between array list and a linked list. So both of them represent the Java collections list, so they are pretty similar and share the same methods. So let's start by creating them right here. We have our Java project and inside our main method, let's create our linked list. It's going to be of type integer. Let's call it linked list. It's going to be equal to new linked list and we need to import the linked list from java.util so let's do the same for our array list it's going to be from type integer as well let's call it array list it's equal to new array list and let's import the array list from java.util now we have created them, let's start by adding some numbers to them. Let's say linked list, let's add, we use the method add, and we add the number one. Let's copy this line of code and do it again. Let's add different numbers, let's say for example, three and two. We're going to do the same for our array, array list. And let's change the name right here so they both are going to have the same numbers so let's print them out down here let's say think our linked list is equal to let's print our linked list and similarly we're going to do the same for the array list Let's run the program to see the output. You can see here the linked list has three elements and the array list has three elements. They are quite identical. Now let's do our conversion between them. So we're going to do in four sections the how to add and remove and retrieve and modify a number from the list. So let's start by adding a number to our list. Let's add the number in the middle of the array of the list. Let's say, for example, we want to add the number 5 after the number 1. So in the linked list, the numbers are going to, re to be represented as this. Let's come in this. 1, 2, and 3. And the array list is going to look like this. 1, 2, and 3. So the linked list the elements are going to be represented as nodes and each node has a pointer to the next value but in the array list it's similar to the array each element has an index starting from zero and the others are going to be the i plus one so zero one two so if we want to add an element after the number one we need to say length list dot add we need to specify the index which is at index one we need to add the number five we're going to do the same for our array list let's update the name so now we're going to add the number five after the number one so let's compare between them in the linked list if we want to add the number five we're simply going to add the number five right here and then create an x pointer from the five that points to the next element which is two and that's it but in the array list we're going to create a whole new array which is going to copy all the elements say one and then it's going to create an empty space for the element we want to add right here and then copy the rest of the elements then finally it's going to add the number five so as you can see here, the process of adding an element in a list is much faster in a linked list because we're just going to simply add the number and update the next pointers. But right here, we have to copy all the elements. So let's say, for example, we have like a thousand elements in our array and we want to update the number at uh, the index of 100. So we need to copy all the elements 
after the 100 until the 1000 so it's going to take much longer time so in this case in adding let's say this is our length list so the add is going to be much faster in our length list and right here is going to be our array list right now it's empty now let's uh, run the program to see the output the number 5 is added after the number 1 at index 1 let's close this so let's remove the same number 5 from the list we can do that by saying link this go to remove we're going to use the remove method and then give it the index we want to remove let's copy this paste it right here and update then now we're going in this uh, array list we're simply going to delete this number five and then update the pointer of the first element to be pointing to the next element which is two and right here we need to let's delete this one the old one right here we have the number five we need to delete this element and then switch all the rest of the elements to the previous index so this one is going to be equal to 2 this one is going to be equal to 3 and then remove the last index so if we have 1000 elements and we modify the number at index 1 uh, delete uh, remove the element at index uh, 100 it's going to be removed and then switch all the elements after the index 100 until 1000 so it's going to be it's going to take a, lo a long time to do this uh, remove otherwise here in our length list if we have 1000 element and we want to remove the element at index 100 we're simply going to remove it and then update the next pointer to point to the element behind it so it's much faster in the link list so if we want to re remove elements from our, our list it's better to use a linked list so let's say remove it's better in our linked list let's run to see our output it should be the same because we added the number five then we removed it so it's going to be one two and three now let's say we want to get an element specific element from our array let's say we want to get the element in the middle which is two we're simply going to use the get method let's use it right here to get the output let's say dot get element at index one and do the same right here for our array list get the element at index one so so now it's going to print only the element at index one not the entire array so if we want to get an element from a list and the linked list is going to start from the head which is the first element in our list and then it's going to visit all the nodes until it reaches the element we want to get but otherwise here in our array, array list since all the numbers has indexes it's going to check the index one and get the value instantaneously so if we have 1000 element right here we want to get the element at 600 we're going to visit all the numbers until we reach the element at 600 so it's much slower here in our linked list otherwise in our array list if you have 1000 element if you want to get the element at index 500 it's going to get it right away so at uh, retrieving or getting elements from our array it's much faster to be performed with array uh, array list so let's write that right down here get in our array list because uh, now let's run our program to check it prints two because we are getting the element at index one which is the number two now finally let's say we want to modify a, an element let's say for example we want to modify this uh, let's say let's modify the element at uh, the last index which is index 2 let's uh, delete this one to print out the entire array and let's modify the last element by saying test.set we're going to give it the index of our element which is 2 and then update it to be equal to 6 
So it's going to change this 3 is going to be equal to 6. Let's create this line of code and put it down here for our array list. And now it's going to change it. So for the set method for uh, modifying in our list, it's pretty similar to the get method because it has to find the element first and then update its value. So if we want to modify this number, we have to, in our linked list, we have to start from the head and visit all the nodes until we reach the node we want to update and then change its value. Otherwise, right here in our array list, we're simply going to go to the index and then update the value directly. So it's much faster in this array list. So let's down right here, set, because set is much faster with array list. Let's print our example can see the last element updated to the number six. So that's it uh, for this video. Uh, in the linked list, it's much faster to add or remove. So let's say, for example, we have a program, we want to add or remove uh, values to our list, so it's better to use a linked list. Otherwise, if we have a, uh, a fixed data set, which we don't want to change often, we can use array list to get values and update values from it. So it basically depends on our program. So that's it for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment down what video do you want to see next, and catch me on the next one.